Hi, this is Isabella. I'm going to be co covering another compounding ca calculation, which is found in chapter 16, page 122, number 8. So it's a kind of lengthy question, and when reading through it all, uh, they give you a lot of information that you don't need. So I recommend focusing on what the question is. Uh, it says the prescription is written for levothyroxine, and A means sodium, 25 mcgs or micrograms per ml, 100 mils. So that's what's ordered. We have to make this compound of levothyroxine, which is a thyroid medication. And we're going to compound it by crushing levothyroxine tablets. So if you read a little bit farther down, it says that we're going to use um, 0 0.1 milligram levothyroxine tablets. Because the question is, how many of those 0 0.1 milligram tablets are needed to prepare this compound? So the key question is, what are you solving for? And you're solving for tablets. So the very first fraction should have tablet on the top of the fraction bar. And we know that the tablets that we're using is these levothyroxine 0 0.1 milligrams. So that's my first fraction. One tab over 0 0.1 milligrams because that's the levothyroxine tablets that I'm using. Now you should already know that the milligrams is going to go up and over. So you ask yourself, what's in milligrams that I can incorporate into my equation? Well, there's nothing else relevant in milligrams and we're trying to incorporate that micrograms. So here's where we're going to use a conversion from milligrams to micrograms. So this is something that you should know. One milligram contains 1,000 micrograms. So you know we're not complete with the um, setting up the equation. Micrograms should go up and over. And this is where I'll incorporate my concentration of the compound that I'm making, which is 25 micrograms per 1 ml. There's not one listed there, but you know anytime there's a unit and no number, it really means the number 1. So this is my next fraction in the equation. I know milliliters is going to go up and over again, and now I'm at my final step where I incorporate the total volume that I'm making, which is 100 mls. So if you kind of just step back and look, all of your compounding questions when solving for tablets or capsules should be in this order. The tablet times the concentration times the volume that you're making. Now you may have to have a conversion in there like we did with the 1 milligram to 1,000 micrograms when we're trying to bridge units. So when we work this out, in the end, we're going to get uh, 2,500 over, um, you know, if you times the top numbers by the bottom numbers, if you, if you go over that way, 2,500 over 100 will get us 25. So all of our units will cancel, milligrams, the micrograms, the milliliters, and we're left with 25 tablets.